I'm not a woman, but if I was a woman, I'm not opening my door. I'm not paying at a restaurant. I'm not choosing where to go eat. I'm not making the plans for the evening. If I was a woman, I would demand, demand that I be treated like a queen to be honored, respected, cherished, and valued. I would demand it because my standards would be so high for my life that the only man that could possibly ever think of being with me is a man that is fully in his masculine. And that's when you stop attracting little boys and you start attracting real men is when you decide that you're worth it. Well, 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 well. It's really interesting. I hear a lot of commentary from men about what they would do if they were a woman. <laughs> and I want you all to answer in the comments, what are some of the things that you've heard that men say? Early in my life, one of the things that I used to hear was how they would be the biggest HOE, that they would get all of this money in exchange for X, Y, Z. And now they're coming out on the flip side talking about what they would do, not realizing that being a woman is complex. Being a girl is complex. You have to realize that you're steeped in the patriarchy. It's like saying, if I was hot water and there was a tea bag inside of me, I would never become tea. But when you're steeped in the patriarchy, you are steeped in the men's words are more powerful than ours. What a man says goes. A man's yes supersedes a woman's no. You're steeped in a man's life is more valuable than yours. What else? Remember that whole thing with blue balls and how you had to be put under all of this pressure because for even just a, a moment of his discomfort was just too much for him to bear. There's so many different things that you're taught as a girl and one of those things things is really catering to a man, putting his needs before yours, putting children's needs before yours, that you are really just a secondhand person. You start getting this indoctrination. We showed you the video about the ways that even babies are indoctrinated, played with differently and different skills cultivated. So it's honorable for him to talk about what it is that he would do if he were a woman. And listen, I want women to be treated well as well. We continue to talk about what it is that women need to do. I hear all of these psychologists and professors coming out talking about the changes women need to make and order to date and supply and demand. What is out there in the dating market? People give women all of this flack for remaining single, right? But what is out there and available for her to date? When we start talking about demand, for these doors to be opened and all of this stuff and standards so high and then who it is that you're going to attract. The society that we're raised in have to be cultivating enough male persons to be able to meet the demand of the women who have these high standards, right? And we see from the matchmaking show that I've been kicking off the ground. And listen, if you know commitment ready men who want to come on the show and get matched, write me tanyatko.com, click on contact and send a message through. I'm a certified matchmaker. And one of the first things that I learned after getting certified is the attitude that men have about being matched, about getting help, about being assisted rather than just going out there Harry Carroll and just being guided by the pointer of his payness, right? And so, yeah, you know, supply demand. I don't know. I want to hear your thoughts about his statement and what is available out there. People act like women are not looking for decent men and are coming up short. Like some people have criticized my matchmaking show and I'm like, all across the industry, even on TV, the biggest and most popular shows, they have difficulty getting men to match with black women because the vast majority of black women want black men. And black men, far too many of them consider being with a non-black woman to be a status symbol. And when we talk about these short videos that I do, I did a short video about how men are homosocial and there are so many men combating Oh, no, we're not. No, we're not. Go check out that video, right? And it's like so many men are just not self-aware. Our society is not cultivating men 
to be in good relationships with women, to be in healthy relationships. And the crux continues to be on women and what women and how women need to choose. But it's like, I don't know, it's like sticking your hand into a fish tank of piranha and trying to pull out a goldfish when the goldfish have been called simps and eaten up by the piranha. Come on, come on. Be a part of the live show with thousands of other viewers. Go to tanyatko.com forward slash text and join the text notification squad and get a text whenever I go live. Support the show and yourself and I'll see you on the next live broadcast.